hello everyone you welcome back to my channel today and in today's tutorial we'll be recreating this exaggerated petal sleeve or i can call it a puffy overlap sleeve so i'll be sharing with you all the detailed process on how i went about this it's just it's actually not difficult so please pay proper attention and if this sounds like something interesting learning how to do please continue watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so without much ado let's just dive into what we have today So here are the things I need for this um particular sleeve. I have my hair stay. This is my fabric that I'll be working with. And I also have my pattern paper and it's folded into two. I have my marker as well and also my ruler. All of these are things you only need to draft out this particular sleeve. So this particular paper is actually um I used it earlier for drafting of a particular dress, but I had to use this neat or clean part of it okay so all this my green marker will be going on the neat side and i'm not using a black marker all right so you place your tape from the top of your pattern paper okay you just mark about three inches all right so you connect these points just this way in a straight line then the next from that line i'm going to mark the length of my sleeve so the length of my sleeve i want it to be actually eight inches because it's actually a short sleeve and i also connect it into a straight line so I'll just label that first line 3 inches and the second line 8 inches. So again from that 3 inches line, I'm going to come down by at least 2 and a half inches and I'll also connect that into a straight line. So after that, I'll also label that my cap. So it's just more like your cap sleeve, okay? Or your sleeve cap. Alright, so now the next I'm going to do is to measure around the armhole of the dress where I'll be fixing this my um sleeve to right. So this is for like one part. That means this my armhole is folded into two. So I had nine inches plus one inch for stitching allowance. So right there, I'm going to mark just ten inches on this line labeled my cap. Okay, so you can see I made a point right there. All right. So the next thing I'm going to come to the top of my paper and I'm going to create a curve, an armhole curve to meet that point on the cap sleeve. So before I did that, I went in by 1.5 inches at the top of my paper and on this line label 3 inches, I went in by 5 inches. So I'm going to connect this point at the top of my paper to this 5 inches before I go ahead to flip my curve to the other side and connect from that point to my cap line on that point where i made that point all right so you can see so this is simply how to create an armhole for this particular dress but when i did this i felt like mine wasn't really curvy i made my armhole so i had to come in by four inches okay from my center front of my folded fab mm, paper i came in by four inches so i was also connect the same way i made the initial connection okay so this is because my armhole is deep all right so after this now i'm just going to go ahead to um insert my arm measurement so my arm circumference is actually seven inches all right so seven inches i added extra half of an inch for stitching allowance so i'm going to connect it all this way to this point i have on my cap line all right so i hope everything i did here is quite easy and simple so i'll cut everything out just exactly the way i've drafted so here now is my already drafted sleeve and i'm just going to open it up all right so please pay attention to the green lines and not the black ones okay so now all i'm going to do now is to extend these green lines to the other side of this my pattern paper just this way so right there now i want you all to know that i already have a crease line from these folds i already made okay by folding my pattern paper into two i have a crease line so from beneath that three inches line i marked five inches from that three inches line i marked five inches okay from the three inches line i mark five inches so i made a point at the center of my sleeve on that crease line so i also made a dot for you to know where i started my measurement from that dot to this other dot i made five inches mark now from the center from from the center sorry of this my sleeve i went ahead to mark four 
inches as you can see then from that edge i went up by just one inch or three quarter of an inch so okay so now i'm going to make a connection from this my three inches line to this point i have at the center of this my sleeve to this four inches and to this other side just exactly what i'm doing right here so i'm making dots first so in case you don't have a ruler you can actually make dots and when your dots are perfect you can now connect it and cut out so you see how i'm placing my ruler from that three inches line to this point i have at the middle of my sleeve to this other four inches then to this one inch just like this so after this now i'm going to cut this out So I'm going to place this now on my fabric, all right? So I actually had some of um had this my fabric acting as the lining and also the main fabric, okay? Because I want the inside to also have the same color as the outside of my fabric. So all around on this um part, I went ahead to mark half of an inch, which is going to be for my sewing allowance or joining allowance actually so i'm going to cut out everything i have all around and also observe my half of an inch for my joining allowance all right so like i said earlier i'll be using the same fabric as my lining piece and also as my main fabric so don't forget to also notch your center line see that line I made sure I notched it okay so don't also forget to do the same thing so I'm going to have um this my fabric like eight pieces of it okay so eight pieces because I'm also using the same fabric as my lining piece and also my fabric so here it is and I've also gone ahead to iron my estate to my sleeve and this is what it looks like as you can see so these four pieces is actually for one part of the sleeve the remaining four i didn't bring to the camera so you can understand everything i'm doing right here so i'm going to work with one part of the sleeve now so you know this part that is straight because all of this part now is curved on the straight part you are going to place them right side facing each other on your sleeve and i'm just going to mark half of an inch so i'm going to make a join from the top part just this way to the end and when you flip it over this is what it's going to look like so i'll do it for these two i'll do it for all these two and you can see what i have right here so after joining you open this up this way and iron this flat as i've done right here okay so now i'll turn this now i'm i'm going to place these two sleeves right sides facing each other ensure that your seam is open you iron it flat all right so i'm going to place them right sides facing each other and i'm going to just open up this seam properly so that i can pin so the next thing i will do is to arrange this properly so ensure you arrange yours properly and from that end that is on the hem you're going to stitch using just half of an inch remember it was added when i was actually cutting this or from your notch you are actually mark five inches to get your hem and stitch all around so guys this is it i did this and this is what i already have so this is for the two parts of the sleeve right so if you do this you flip this to the right side and iron this flat so i'm going to get this my notch two notches i have on this sleeve and bring them together this way and make sure that they match i'll match them together okay so i'll use my pin and hold it down so i'll move over to my sewing machine now and just make a stitch to just hold these two points together on that point just a little stitch all right so now i've gone ahead to do that on my sewing machine and you can see i still have these parts open okay so the parts where you have open that is from that your notch you are actually sorry from the parts where you have open or that rough part you're actually going to pleat it and make sure that it gets up to that much so i hope you can see what i'm doing right there so you pleat this and it will stop exactly on that your notch because remember the the notch where the notch we made is actually for the center of our sleeve okay so you're meant to maintain that line you fold all these rough edges or this rough parts and it will stop exactly on that notch where 
I the notch where I ha which I had on my sleeve. Sorry. So guys, um, this is it. So you can see how I folded this for the inner part and also the top part. So by the time you do this, you're going to have a very very neat, very very neat finishing. Okay, or a neat sleeve. All right. So this is what I did for the for the two petal sleeve for the boat before i went ahead to fix it i can see how puffy this is looking already and our sleeve is back to its normal shape so this whole part i'm going to fix to my dress so i went ahead to measure it and i was getting exactly the same armhole which i had um, measured earlier on my on my gown so guys this is it and the next thing is to now fix it to the armhole area of this my gown so that is basically it i just stitch it all around just as i'm doing right here so after doing that you just flip it to the front part and this is exactly what you are going to have guys i hope you found this tutorial helpful do try this out because it's actually worth trying and i hope to see you guys next time on the same channel Thank you so much for watching and also subscribing please don't forget to share and also hit on that like button so if you actually want your sleeve to actually stand out or be exaggerated more than mine you can iron your peplum stay to this your sleeve instead of the hair stay i use for mine okay